<laughs> I can do a selfie camera too. Today I'm going out and doing a workshop to make a cool glass lamp with some Rocket Child. Yeah. Hello everyone. This is Rocket Child and welcome. I create videos about art, so if that's your thing, please subscribe to my channel to see more projects like this in the future. Two weeks ago, I went to a Turkish lamp making workshop. I've been in lockdown for about four months in both Sydney and Canberra, Australia. So once restrictions were lifted, I wanted to treat myself and do something really fun. I always loved these styles of lamps and was surprised that there were classes to learn how to make them. It's one of those places that you can book for parties or events or hen's nights and things like that. Or you could be like me and just go on your own. I sat at a large table with bowls of different colored glass with some other participants and we were given some templates to help us choose our designs or we could have just made our own. The shop was filled with many ready many <laughs> ready many the shop was filled with uh, many ready-made lamps that we could buy but we also used them as inspiration for our own designs so we would know what the colors look like once the lights were on. After that, we used some glue to stick the colored glass onto the clear glass dome. It was a bit difficult because the glue dried slowly and the tiles kept slipping down the dome. So we had to be careful that the, the pattern wouldn't get ruined just because the tiles were sliding all over the place. Uh, we had to concentrate a lot to remember the patterns and make sure that it, it stayed um, straight. I thought it was a fun challenge, but it was also so strange talking to people again after so many months. So it was quite exciting actually for me. <laughs> After gluing the glass tiles, we filled in the gaps with some glass beads. At first this part seemed easy, but it was actually pretty hard because the beads were so light they kept bouncing off and falling onto the floor. So we still had to concentrate a lot to get this part happening. I concentrated so much I almost missed snack time as well. <laughs> The workshop went on for about two hours, however the glue needed about six hours to dry. So we were given the lamp parts and the plaster kit to finish the project at home. My plastering footage got corrupted, so I'll explain what I did next using some illustrations. I put on my apron and gloves and mixed the plaster that I got in the kit with some water in a disposable cup with a paddle pop stick. Plaster dries very fast, so it's important to plan ahead. Then using the paddle pop stick, I put plaster in and filled all the gaps between the glass. If you let the plaster dry, the whole thing will just turn white. So after finishing that, I used a wet sponge to clean the surface so the pattern can show through. After that, I left it to dry and then cleaned up all the mess. Once that was done, I was ready to add the lamp fixture parts. When registering for the class, you get to choose what kind of lamp you want to make. I chose one called the Aladdin's Lamp, which you can tell from the shape of the, the top is um, a bit like a, a lamp shape or, or an oil lamp kind of shape. I thought it was pretty cool. You get all the parts in the box, including the light bulb, 
and the electrical plug. What I noticed though is I couldn't fit the light bulb in since the internal wire bit was bent over. So before plugging it in to the wall, I got my pliers out and straightened out the, the wire bit and made sure to test the electricity before plugging it in for obvious reasons. I don't want to die. And afterwards it was pretty cool and it worked out really well. 